What is up guys? Welcome to the JTP Studios. We have a super exciting video for you today. We have two kilns that are full. So we're gonna unload this one and we're gonna unload this one. So it's a very exciting day. As you know, this is my favorite and probably debatably the best part of pottery is unloading the kilns. All this weeks and weeks of work. There's like probably 60 some pots in here. I don't know how many are in there, but that's more of a tester one. So we did cone seven to for this one, cone seven with a slow cool schedule for the little one. So all these pots will be available, or most of them, in our next restock on March 15th. So if you see anything you like, you can purchase them. Let's unload this thing, huh? Let's do it. I guess just gotta start the camera real quick. Ready for this? Very excited. So on the top, so I've been making a bunch of these recycled glass coasters. I started to sell them a lot last year and I just really kind of like making them. I can make a ton of them and they really help to fill up the top of the kiln. Like often I get to the end of kilns and I'm like, oh, I just don't feel like lazy anymore. So then I'll stop. But this year I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. So I'm filling it with these guys. So we got the green ones and then we got a bunch of lavender mist ones. So there's all the lavender mist ones. Those are cool. Turned out really good. So like for these, those are really good. Like this one, I might actually fire it again and just put a little glass on there and then it'll even it out a little bit. All right, and then here we have this big bowl which turned out awesome. This is Northern Lights to buttercream. Turned out so good. Exactly what I was looking for. Beautiful. I've never seen this happen before, but I can't, these two things seem to be stuck to each other. Whew. Boom. All right. So I have this happen less and less, but every once in a while these coasters just crack in half. Five of those coasters. And then I have a few of these Minnesota magnets. Okay, now we get to the fun stuff. Yes. Okay, so this is a combo. It's actually the same as my Northern Lights combo, but it's just instead of the black being the base layer, the buttercream is. And you get these really cool little micro crystals in there. And the contrast between the black and the, and the lighter color is quite stunning if I do say so myself. A few of those. One of them dripped off a little bit there. But this one turned out really good. So those are really nice. The other ones that we got in here are this Midnight Rain Over Winter Wood, which dripped perfectly. Dripped all the way down, got some really good micro crystal growth in there. This was a super packed kiln. So even though I didn't slow cool it, so you're not gonna get as many micro crystals as you would in like when you do it, it was so packed that it did, it naturally cools down really slow. Insanity mug. Nice. This was a refire. Ooh, and that actually worked out really nice. So this was one that had a bunch of pinholes in it. Wow, that's really quite beautiful. Ooh, midnight rain over winter wood. Love it. This is awesome. This actually is a planter for our house. And then here, this is that combo that I really am digging. It was popular in the last restock. It's super cool. It's actually four different glazes, winter wood, raspberry mist, lavender mist on top, and then Norse blue on the bottom. So, really nice. Little lavender mist, pink purple. Very spring. Don't you think that's kind of spring? Springtime. Noise, noise, noise. Ooh. Got one really bad dripper, but otherwise, ooh, that copper ore over sandstone. Wow, gorgeous. Got like blue down at the bottom. That's really cool. As close as you can get to dripping off the pot and not. I can't believe those all turned out perfectly. And like, where the heck is that blue color coming from down here? It's cool. Wow, those are really unique. This one dripped everywhere. But thanks to my advancer kiln shelves, still 
a decent mug. These went so fast in the last restock. These are Canyon Skies, kind of like wavy spiral. So it's not my normal spiral. It's kind of like more of like a random spiral. So as I'm going up, I'm just kind of randomly doing it. And then that Canyon Skies. Ooh, that looks really nice. Look at that little tumbler. Wavy spiral tumbler. So Canyon Skies, for all the people that are gonna comment on the video and be like, what's the Canyon Skies glaze? It is Albany Brown, uh, matte white and buttercream. Albany Brown and matte white are from Minnesota Clay. This is Midnight Rain over Winterwood. That is, wow, that's just gorgeous. Boom. I love this shape, the shape of this mug really helps it so you don't get too much dripping like it'll drip down and then kind of like this little rim on the bottom just holds it up so it doesn't drip off like if this shape would have gone straight and then down it probably would have dripped off right there but the shape of this mug mm, yes so good yes those are those are the best you know which one didn't work out the best though this one dripped so that's where i put just a little too much it's so metallic-y, so good. All right, and now we are on to our last shelf after this guy, another copper ore. Actually, I'm pretty sure this one is five glazes. I just remembered that I put another glaze on top, so there's four glazes layered on here and then one on the bottom. <laughs> That's a little silly. Sweet! All right, and then on the bottom, I just have more. Nice, more of these. I have a bunch more of these down there, so there's like, I don't know how many, one, two, three, like eight of these. And then there's like six more of these guys, which again is that Canyon Skies on the wavy spiral. And then I got a few more of these Lavender Mist ones that kind of have, they kind of have a little spiral to them. They don't have, I do these spirals a little bit differently. This one's a little bit more pronounced and this one is a little less, it's actually just like a really intense pull. So instead of like pulling where it's smooth going up, you just like pull really hard. So that's basically everything in there. I mean, there's still more stuff in there, but this guy now, which yeah, isn't super full, but I wanted to get one in. This one again was cone seven slow cooled. So that means basically it gets up to 2,262 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you let it drop until it gets to like 1700. And then you hold it at 1700 for like 45 minutes. And then you hold it at like 1600 a little bit. And so you're kind of down firing it so that it holds. And what that does is it allows these micro crystals to grow like crazy. Like this is Midnight Rain over Winter Wood, which is also basically the same as this glaze, but this glaze has all these white, like little micro crystals in there. Whereas this one is just stays straight blue, which you do get a little micro crystal growth. And especially on this one, cause this was such a full kiln. We had a bowl. This has quite a few different glazes on it. Um, pretty cool. The outside is pretty sweet. And then another Aurora Green over Sandstone Planter. That's one of my, I really like that glaze in the slow cool firings. Oh boy. All right, well, I had a set of four. Wow, that would have turned out really cool, but just got a little too much. So that Midnight Rain, I think is a little thick. God, that's really nice up there though. Look at that, isn't that cool? So I think I will try and fire these all upside down. So that'll be cool. And I know, oh shoot. I know people are gonna ask, how do you fire them upside down? So to fire it upside down, you need a post that is longer than the mug and you need a stilt that fits inside the mug. You put it in the kiln like this, you take the mug and you put it like this. And then you balance it. That's how you fire it upside down. And then as long, sometimes if there's thick glaze on the inside, then you might get a few little like sharp things. So then you can either grind them down with the Dremel tool or you can fire it again and put it up on a stilt this time, but then you have them on the bottom. So, or sometimes if it's not that thick of a glaze on the inside, then it's really not that big a deal. And you, it, you can, it just pops right off. Jeez Louise. That, I haven't had bad, this drips this bad in a long time. But that glaze though, how cool is that? What? Like, that's sweet. Here's one that I was a little more conservative with that turned out pretty good. Serious, serious drippage here. That midnight rain is a little thick. 
Which that happens with slow cool. You do get a little, uh, little more drippage than on the regular fire. There it is. That's really good. So this is Midnight Rain over Winterwood. Um, slow cooled so it gets some cool it almost looks like you probably can't see this in here but look at those little it looks like stars or like looks like the sky it's really cool that's what i'm talking about that's sweet that is sweet i should have paid attention to where this was sitting in the kiln so we had some good we had some bad we had some amazing we had some really bad we had a couple mediocre, but overall I'd say this was very successful. I'm gonna count them real quick. So we had 76 pots in this kiln, which is a lot, a lot, which these the coasters help a ton. These guys, I, I can usually get 50 to 60 mugs, but when I start adding these, a few shelves of these guys, that's when we can really crank up the production. And then there were 14 in the tester kiln. So that's 90, which this month, brings our total to 253 for February. January, we had 352, so we're somewhere in the range of like 600 for the year. So it's gonna be a really, really productive month this month. It's been freezing cold in Minnesota, so all I've really wanted to do is just be in the nice warm studio and make pots, which has been great. So, all right, that is it for this video. If you wanna check out any of these pots, March 15th, check it out. Subscribe, like, comment, as always. We'll see you guys in the next video.